Meantime, a 12 year old girl was hurt after being shot while sleeping in her own bed. Tonight, her mother speaks only to WUSA 9 about the moments after the gunshots and the daily trauma families are facing in their own homes. Doya Gonzalez has the emotional and exclusive conversation, and I do have to warn you, the images you're about to see are graphic. But I heard the gunshots while I was sleeping. Four shots, a pause that lasted about five seconds, followed by nine consecutive shots. I turned over in bed, looked at the clock. It was 4.05. When 12-year-old Anaya turned over in bed, she was shot. She was sleeping in that third floor bedroom. Now this story is going to be real, raw emotions and an image of that gunshot wound you may find graphic. Anaya was sleeping soundly around four this morning when a bullet did this to her leg, tearing through the flesh of this 12 year old basketball player. We just seen blood just flowing. So then we had started searching the room to try to figure out what was going on. And that's when we had located the bullet hole through the uh, mattress. A tiny hole in the screen of the third floor window, the bullet hitting Anaya who was sleeping in the top bunk. Detectives tell mom when Anaya rolled over, she stopped the bullet from traveling through the mattress to hit her siblings. Me and her stepfather was panicking. She was the most calm, just kept telling me she was okay. We in a life or death situation. Meanwhile, across the street, another mother, another apartment building, another shooting last Saturday. The gunshots went off and was coming through my window and stuff, like a big machine gun. She's still a little scared. As for Brown, she says her daughter won't come home. She's recovering at a family member's house in Maryland. Meanwhile, mom is looking to move. Just trying to find somewhere to relocate. So get my family to safety. Two mothers, two apartments right across the street from each other on Naylor Road, trying to keep their family safe when they feel their homes are under attack. We don't give a f about hearing shots, but when it's all coming through windows and through my house and stuff with my kids, that's another thing. That's another situation. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And I feel threatened for my life. On top of the violence, I discovered the building here at 2600 Naylor Road has more than 31 violations. The owners owe the city more than $380,000 for violations, including mold. And that is why mom told us her children were all sleeping in one room. In the meantime, police are still looking for the shooter. In Fairlawn Southeast, Celia Gonsalves, W USA 9. And right now we can verify this part of a worrisome trend in our area. According to the Gun Violence Archive, the number of children who were either hurt or killed in shootings is on the rise. You can see right here there were 175 shootings involving kids back in 2014. That was across D.C., Maryland and Virginia last year. That number was up to 308 and already this year, not even halfway through the year, 247 children have been shot.